everybody, this is Praxis and the wood structure of the house, interior boards, is finally complete. I just put in the last nail, actually it was just down over there, uh, and now we are finishing up the foam. Uh, we were doing some foam yesterday, you meant, I mentioned I'm finally using the harness, uh, and uh, it, that's been going actually pretty well. I'm really disturbed by heights, but um, I've been feeling pretty comfortable being up here with the harness, uh, you know, being hooked, you know, hooked into it. So that's been going uh, really well. Uh, there's been a couple of changes that I wanted to talk about. One is that I had had an idea of mixing borax in with water and putting it into a sprayer and spraying the wood. We just didn't end up doing that. What I've been doing is just taking the box, and you can see it over there behind you, and just sprinkling it down uh, on top of this wood before we put the foam on. There's little gaps between the boards and the borax gets into there, and those are all the kind of places that I would always hear ants kind of uh, getting into when they got into the last house. So, I, you know, I feel reasonably good about that. I don't think that's any kind of a trade-off. Uh, also on the topic of pests, uh, the, one of the other things that I've been planning on doing, and it, I, it looks like I'm not going to do it, at least not the way that I planned on doing it earlier, is uh, for mice. I was planning on doing a continuous sheet of uh, wire lath, uh, which is kind of like a, a metal mesh, all underneath the roof because uh, mice would get up under the roof and that would give them uh, entrance to the rest of the the house's foam and they could just burrow wherever they wanted. So I planned on putting a, a uh, unending barrier of this metal mesh and I bought a lot of it uh, up on the top up here but in practice of actually putting it on it was just it was just not going on very well. Uh, it was hard getting the joints to kind of line up and to make sure that there weren't any access points, like when two panels are kind of joining each other. Um, you know, we did a little bit of overlap, but if one kind of buckled up, uh, you know, it was just getting really, really difficult. And, you know, if I had a magic wand and I could, you know, make all the ends kind of curl into each other and, you know, you know lace it all together, you know, maybe I, I would do that. But in, in reality, it was taking an enormous amount of time uh, and, and the ends were still kind of a what if, a what if like how are we going to handle the ends? Because we, we could make a continuous membrane up here, but when it gets to the end, we couldn't wrap it around because there's other boards that were sort of in the way. So it was still this kind of situation where it was like, well, you know, how are we going to handle that other entry point? So we're kind of kicking that can down the road, and we're going to try to um, uh, make uh, barricades at the entry points to get under the roof. And... That's kind of what I tried and failed at the last house to do. I didn't really want to go that way, but doing it the way that I planned, you know, it just wasn't working out very well. And it's really important to be able to reevaluate your ideas. Um, you know, we see it all the time. You know, people get an idea in their head and come hell or high water or, or you know, any kind of rational arguments that anybody may have for that person, their mind's shut. They're just going to do this thing that they yeah, have their mind set on. You know, we see that in our personal life. We see that in our political lives. Uh, it's really important not to get stuck into that. You know, just because you came up with an idea doesn't mean it's the best goddamn idea in the whole world, even when it's me. <laughs> so. We're abandoning that. Uh, you know, I'll be coming up with a, another approach. I still want to solve the problem, but just not using the technique uh, that I had, um, you know, I'd been planning on doing. So, the rest of the day today, we're going to try to get more foam on here. We have a major winter. No, it's not a major winter storm, but it's a major wall of cold air. To about two inches of snow possibly coming. Uh, really high winds and it's kind of unseasonably early. So that, that, that's why everyone's like kind of freaking out. Uh, and, but I really would like to get the metal on. That's not gonna happen, but I wanna at least get as much foam up here as I can so that then we can just have that level of protection for when the snow does fall, we're gonna have a tarp over it, but it'll just prevent you know that much more moisture from getting into the structure. That's it. I'll see you in a couple of days after the storm, I think. Um, and you know, we'll see you know, what the damages were. Thanks for watching.